who are displaced after a tornado ripped through their town are spending the night at shelters. Now, this home is one of many destroyed by a fierce tornado there. Meteorologist Ed Curran is live in Nayplate, which is near Ottawa. Ed. Nay Plate is right next to Ottawa. It's a small town, and when we got here, we were held back from seeing the area of destruction, and it quickly became obvious to us why. There are power lines that are down everywhere, and there was the heavy smell of propane gas in the air. We weren't going in, and residents aren't going in until the area can be declared safe. As you can see in these photos from a resident, the tornado left behind heavy damage caused some structural damage, a lot of power lines down, a lot of power poles down, trees are down. The mayor saw it pass through town. We've seen stuff flying through the air, uh, uh, signs, um, parts of roofs, and treeless. About 50 homes were damaged, and that's about 25% of the town. Kim French's house was damaged. She took cover between two heavy appliances. Windows are shattered. I have like no roof. Um, it's it's just bad. Just outside of town, there was heavy damage to the Pilkington Glass Factory. Nay Plate is named after the National Plate Glass Company, a huge employer in its early years. And when morning comes, Nay Plate will start picking up the pieces. And we are currently in the area where we have a severe thunderstorm warning, and uh, we see this closing in on us. We're keeping a careful eye on radar. It's not so much the rain around here. It's the fact that we have a lot of lightning in the area, so we took coverage in the car here, one of the safest places to be if you can't be indoors. In Nayplate, Ed Curran, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. Okay, Ed, thank you.